Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another Well, hello everyone, welcome back to another uh, radio show episode I believe it's episode 53 here on a Friday night here at about 10.50 I think um, I'm only going to be here 15 minutes uh, well, maybe 10, actually. Actually, I'm going to be here close to 10 because I really don't have much to talk about. Um, you know, uh, so yeah, everybody, hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody's keeping six feet apart, keeping their hands clean, doing whatever they can do to stay safe and, um, and, uh, survive this, um, this pandemic. Um, so yeah, uh, things are... Things are going pretty good today, you know, at work was uh, pretty productive. Um, I just, you know, it just felt like, uh, it just felt, um, you know, we're all helping people, but, you know, with the added risk that we're, um, added risk that we're, you know, we're just doing whatever. Uh, it's, it's good to, um, it's just good to, it's just good that we have good protocols and, we're just doing this stuff to make sure we're, we're staying healthy and we're staying safe. Um, uh, I think at work we're doing announcements every like two seconds or something like that. Well, actually not every two seconds, but, you know, every maybe 10 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. We're, they're shouting a, uh, an announcement over the walkie or uh, the loudspeaker to let everybody know that six feet apart. Um at the lines and everything they actually have uh little dots to do the six feet they actually have little little dots with little footprints on them so you know where to stand um that's helped out a little bit. that's helped out a little bit sorry for that a lot of crash r.a.p any headphone users that heard that um i, I apologize um yeah, that's just one thing, and we're, we don't have Pizza Hut open, we don't have Starbucks open, so can't get a coffee, can't get a pizza, whatever, whatnot. Um, all in the name of keeping us all safe, making sure nothing happens um, until this blows over, we can't do anything. Um, what it's done is uh, a lot of people from those sections are now working with us and, and around um, in the store, which is great. Um, we get to take on new team members, train new people, and uh, we get to work as a team. Uh, I think this is a good team building thing, if anything. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, we have to train new people, people coming in from other places. It's a nice team building thing, and, you know, we get to see what each other's doing, and we get to teach new people, um, and it's great. It's I think it's a great team building uh, thing, and hopefully this makes us stronger. So now every team... Uh, hopefully we'll understand why uh, why the di why different teams do different things. And I think that's a great experience. Uh, some people may care, some people may not. But um, it's definitely interesting to see people from different sections come in and help us out um, and be good. Uh, it's just, you know, one of those, it's just one of those things, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's what it. You know, it always seems that team comes together when, when, when something big happens, and we all have to act around one another. We all have to be good, uh, and it's great. And it's great to see that the team will be is willing to make these changes, and all in the name to you know help fight this thing and help help other people because we all serve these guests. And um, we know we'd serve them how um, how uh, we know we, we know how to serve them so in our different ways but we're, you're, but you know we're all learning different things. It's great. Um, I think that's the biggest plus out of this but anyway um, but yeah, we're just gonna keep growing stronger and stronger and Hopefully we uh, stay straight, stay strong, stay healthy, and we hopefully we can conquer this thing, and we will conquer this thing um, in due time. So, um, but enough about the virus, enough about that. I just wanted to give you guys a little update of work, what's going on, and everything else. Um, 
everything. So I wanted to give you guys an update um, on uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon because you guys cause I actually um, wanted to say a little bit more about it. I'm now um, I'm now on the game for twenty days now. I think. Um, well, now, uh, yeah, I've holding the game for almost twenty days now. So, so I got the game on the twentieth. Got the game on the twentieth. Twenty first was. The uh, 31st was 10 days, it was, it was 11 days in, and um, yeah, it was 11 days, and today is 20 days, so I've actually had the game for about 20 days. It's actually not bad, uh, I just, um, the game says I've been doing it for 21, even though um, 21 and everything. Great game. I have to say a lot of the customization and a lot of the, the good stuff. Really, really good, solid uh, simulation game. Has its pitfalls, but um, I'm expecting that because they're just going to update it from time to time. And um, I'm hoping, you know, they keep doing this because this game is really cool. Um, you know, you can do everything from do it your own tools to your own designs and everything. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, one, one little feature I like, I like on it is, um, is, uh, now you can, um, now I actually have the ability to, um, I actually have the, Excuse me, long day, long day. Um, I actually have the ability in the game to, you know, do just about anything. Sell items, buy items, um, redecorate my house in the game. It's a, it's a cool experience. I think the coolest thing, though, out of all of it is these little do-it-your-own projects. You actually have to scavenge for your... Um, you actually have to scavenge for your items... And you have to scavenge for wood, iron nuggets, and that sort of thing. And it's it's pretty cool that they make you scavenge and forage for your stuff. Because you're on a deserted island. So nothing is mainstream and nothing is delivered 100%. So, it's, um, so things do cost money. But it, obviously when you do it on your own, it costs less so you can spend more of your bells as they call them in the game to um to do so and you know it's just one of those things that makes life a little bit easier it's definitely taking the blow away from all the stuff that's happening it's a nice little getaway from true from reality but it's a nice little break nice little fantasy world and everything um um and uh, it's really, really cool. I, I think the game is the game has its problems, but I kind of expected that. Um, it, definitely in my top top games of the year, and maybe in my maybe in my top ten. It's in my top ten of gaming. So um, I think. I'll have to tell you guys. So, um, just tell you guys really quickly. Uh, so, um, so I when I first started on the island, uh, I uh, you actually have to build. You actually have to get firewood for your. Um, you actually have to get certain supplies so that you can actually. Uh, do the opening ceremony and do everything else. So I call, so and you get the thing of town rep and everything. Uh, I called my my island or my town, well, my island, Windy Isle, because I noticed when, when I first got on the island, very windy. Um, and 
I don't think it did that when it went. And I think I noticed that. And I said, Windy Isle, this would just be a good little um, title for it. And it's um, it's a name that's, that sticks. So, um, so yeah, it'll, it'll be good. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys more updates on it, you know, just a nice little break from reality, um, and everything. Um, and you know, I do do little, uh, not sim racing, but I do a little racing on project cars too. So I can, so I can, you know, drive race cars and stuff and do a little bit of that, more of that tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'm going to produce any, uh, episodes for, um, white. We'll see. I, I haven't decided on that yet. Um, so, but yeah. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to bid this one to do. I'm really tired. So it's the reason why I only did 10, 11 minutes. Uh, hopefully everybody stays safe. Everybody stays calm. And hopefully, um, for those of you who are, um, job situation isn't so right. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully this ends and hopefully the government comes up with another, comes up with a solution for you guys. So you guys stay in contention like the rest of us, cause this is hitting everybody hard on one way or another, whether it be, um, whether it be coming the day, the fear of, you know, getting sick or, you know, when, when's my next paycheck coming in for, for those of you who are unemployed at the moment, uh, for those of you, and also for those of you who actually work in schools, um, you're hit hard by this. My prayers go out to you, um, and hopefully you guys go back and go back sometime soon. So, um, cause, uh, you know, it's not easy. So I pray for us all, uh, to stay healthy, stay safe and to get through this because we will when we can, um, everybody, we can do it. We will do it. All right. Good night, everybody. This is the broadcast for tonight. America, stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. And we will get through this. Good night.